as a practice, we always seek to distill projects down to their essence, and this project was no exception. The idea was to create two very singular volumes with distilled detailing, minimal finishes, and a real attention to craft. This allows for quite a calm environment, as well as an interior space that doesn't lack character, but is still very still and meditative. The project is located in Eastbourne, the suburb of Wellington at the bottom of the North Island in New Zealand. Eastbourne is a seaside suburb with native forest hills to the east and Wellington Harbour to the west. The clients were after a beach property as a counterpoint to their existing house, which is in a rural setting outside of Wellington. So when we thought about the natural characteristics of the site, that led us to thinking about how you might allocate the space for living and sleeping. And what we wanted to do was create, at the front of the project, a public space. We separated the living space with a courtyard from the sleeping space, and so that allowed us to have a more private space at the heart of the building. And at the perimeter of the interior courtyard is a glazed link. The glass connection allowed us to have quite a nice moment of transition. Rather than it being a dark hallway, it's a light-filled space that has a strong connection to the garden and is wide enough that the clients could display artwork as well as important objects. The plan for this building and the actual uh, the topography of the site means that when you stand at the back of the site, you can actually look all the way through the building and out to the harbour beyond. We tried to use materials that had a little bit of texture to them. So we've got high quality materials that are used throughout the building and throughout the project. But they are materials that as you pay closer attention to them, you start to see a little bit more patina and imperfection. So we've got bandsawn floors, bandsawn cladding, the paving in the courtyard is it's tumbled so it takes off the rough edges. The stone that we've used throughout the project, that's a honed finish so it's not as pristine and polished as other stones that you might see. Timber was really important for us as it uh, allowed us to create a piece of architecture that had a strong connection to the landscape, but also utilise materials that have a very local feel to them. The timber for the exterior cladding is New Zealand pine, and the macrocarpa is also grown here in New Zealand. Macrocarpa is a really interesting building material because not only is it quite stable, but also gives off this really beautiful scent. As soon as you walk into the home, the entry, which is lined in macrocarpa boards, gives you that glimpse of the materiality found throughout the house. It has a really beautiful smell, as well as a lovely texture and tone to its colouring. Refinement is important for us as a practice, and that's something that Fisher & Paykel also strongly believe in, refining products down to their very essence and then pairing that with immaculate detailing, the same way that we assemble projects. We're always really attracted to Fisher & Paykel's integrated appliances or their seamless look and the way that it can just be hidden behind cupboard doors. We have ovens, integrated fridge and freezer, integrated dish drawers, as well as the really minimal, slick black cooktop and range hoods that seem to really work in the natural stone. My favourite part of the project is the way the house sits within its context. On one part it feels slightly alien, but on another it feels very much in keeping with the typology of the neighbouring houses, with the hipped roof, the spouting alignments, and the way that it's set back off the street. So as a practice, we love simplicity, we love craftsmanship, we love atmosphere. And so for this project, it wasn't any different. We were searching to create those things. We love to create moments in a project. So it might be you're sitting at the dining table with both the windows open and the sun is setting on the table and there might be a gentle breeze and it's just a moment where you're really enjoying the space, you're really enjoying the people you're with, you're really enjoying just that time.